My name is Jen Simmons. I'm a designer and a developer. I think the most exciting thing on the web today is CSS Grid because it affects every type of website. Um, and I think it will really be able to change what we can do gra graphic design-wise and it's gonna make it much easier to do layouts. Um, but I don't love CSS Grid because the technology, because it's a, it is a technology. I mean, there are reasons to love it. It's easier and faster, easier to code. But I really love it because of what it's gonna be able to mean artistically for what people can do on the web and, and create sites that are not so cluttered and frenetic and just ugly with ads and blah, blah, blah. Like the content, we're still gonna need all those things, but I have a feeling there are ways that we can present them and therefore also consume them, surfing around, that it, it sort of shifts the energy of things. It makes it a bit more calm or polished or intentional or you know less of a crazy and just more of a place that's more enjoyable to be, I hope. Everything really does come down to what matters for the people who are reading our websites, using our websites, buying things on our websites, whatever it is that they're doing, watching things on our websites. That's what matters. What matters is the experience that they're having. So I think all of this, sometimes it's, you know, we talk about development and code because it does matter for users. If things are slow, it's frustrating. If things are fast, it's better. Although sometimes we get so nerdy with the code, we kind of forget that that's what matters. And you can do the same thing in design. You know, you can get so sort of nerdy or highfalutin talking about the design of something that it starts to feel like it doesn't matter what how the impact has on the, you know on the users on the people who are on the website but it is all for them and that's what design is for design is to create a way an experience that is um, successful and whatever that means maybe it's visually pleasurable and it's it's aesthetically pleasing maybe it's not that at all maybe it's very utilitarian and very practical and very kind of like down to earth um, it can be any sort of range of things, but of course it, what, how that affects the people using the website is what matters. And so we've been slowly building this toolkit over the past 20 years of the web of understanding design in a more and more sophisticated way. And our entire industry, whether you're a person who calls themselves a designer or you're not, no matter what your role is, understanding how design, both visual design and interface interaction design, how does something, or the flow, the design of the entire experience from when someone first reads a URL on a postcard and types it into the browser, and like however it is that they got to your website, maybe they see something on Twitter, like the entire experience, shaping that intentionally and having some, making some decisions about that and putting some resources towards having that be what you, what you, what will be good for your users, like that, if you think about how everyone thought about that kind of stuff, design in 1996 versus 2002 versus 2005 versus, you know, there's been this trajectory. We have all these words now, user experience design and UX and blah, blah, blah. Like, there are more and more job titles. There's more and more, you know, the content strategy. And, and I feel like graphic design is probably the next layer to come back in where we really haven't been paying attention. We really haven't, you know, we did typography a few years ago when web fonts showed up. We realized, wow, you can really do some amazing things if you choose a different font besides Georgia, Times New Roman, Verdana. Um, and, and we can see the benefit of that. I think the same thing is going to happen with layout over the next two or three years.